I don't think Joe Biden is all there anymore. Like, that dude is fucking falling apart. Uh, a lot of commentators were like, yeah, he handled himself really well in that second debate. And I was like, did he? Did he? Maybe that's not what the highlight reels are showing, but holy crap, man. Like, he's not looking okay. Like, he's showing lots of signs of senility. Like, his responses were very slow. He looked very perplexed. Like, when Christian Gillibrand, uh, Kirsten, Kirsten Gillibrand, uh, when she went after him about some op-ed piece that he wrote about, you know, women not working or, or working women are going to be a catastrophe for America. Or I can't remember the exact thing. But it, but it came off like like what he wrote seemed very old school and kind of uh, misogynistic. And, and the way that Kristen Gillibrand was, was reciting it. I, I mean, I haven't read it, but it's also like I'm not surprised that that's something that he wrote. Right? Like, he's kind of had these weird backwards ideologies that are either predicated on traditionalism or, like, economic prosperity for the individual. Like, that's kind of the dude that he is. And, and that's all been exposed even before we got to the debates. It was exposed. Like, he called himself Average Joe. Why? Because he fucking took a train from D.C. to Delaware? Like, dude... That just shows you that even if you're, even if you're like a foot soldier of the oligarchs, a political foot soldier of the oligarchs like Joe Biden is, you still can't afford to live in Washington, D.C. That's all that shows. Or maybe it shows you that he fucking had more dealings and, we, uh, you know, wheelings and dealings in Delaware than he did in D.C. I don't know wanted to stay close to the ground to make sure that he kept getting reelected all the time. I, I mean, I, there, it could be a number of different things. But Biden's not all there, man. Like, it just felt like he was struggling. And I feel like part of it is, um, part of it is the attacks, right? Uh, I think people kind of went after this dude real hard. Uh, and fairly, I think, you know, like, if he wants to come out and be like, I am not a racist, but then you put out a crime bill that put out, put more black people in prison, well, do, what's your justification for that? Well, I'm really proud of my record. D D Joe, there, what, are you, what are you talking about, buddy? Like, people are kind of slamming him, and I think he's, like, way too old, and I think his brain is not functioning, up, like, it can't handle the hypocrisy, so it's just kind of like, boom, it's hit a wall. You know, so, like, the more hypocrisies people throw at him, the more, like, the his brain is not able to do the mental gymnastics as fast as it would need to, uh, to, like, get those, get those, like, counterpoints out there. It, he's just not doing okay. And it's like, look, there's a lot of Republicans that fucking love him. And if he runs as a Republican, I'm sure, I'm sure he'd get the nomination over Trump, maybe, right? Like, it's a, it's very close. It would be very close, I think, if Joe Biden ran as a goddamn Republican. So, I, I don't know, man. Like, you're not really a Democrat. You've never really been a liberal. You just sided with them because, because you were, maybe, maybe, because you were running in Delaware. And that seemed to be a state where, it's like in California, you don't, you don't fucking run as a Republican to win. You run as a Republican probably to destabilize the Democratic Party in California a little bit. But it's mostly a Democratic state. And if Delaware was like that, yeah, of course you fucking ran as a, as a Democrat. It's just like, I'm just watching this dude and I'm like, your mental, your, your, your mental capacity is completely deteriorated. You are no longer able to do those mental gymnastics because you're too old and people are coming at you real hard, real fast, and your brain just can't keep up with all that. And I kind of feel bad for him a little bit, you know? I'm not saying that, like, his record doesn't deserve it because I think his record absolutely does deserve it. It's just at this point, like, Joe Biden, yo, pump the brakes, dog, and, like, go home you know, like, take a break, you are not Bernie Sanders, and I'll, and here's the reason for that, right, Bernie Sanders doesn't need to do any mental gymnastics to stand by what he says, Bernie Sanders has consistently believed 
exactly what he believes. Now, because because of being in, in, in as much prominent light as he was under the Barack Obama presidency, um, under the hope and change presidency, which wasn't really the hope and change presidency, but on being under that light, it kind of... Like, you have to do mental gymnastics because people people are now going to look at your record and be like, dude, you are fucking terrible. And you're like, no, 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 I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that bad. I'm, 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 I'm a man of the people. I'm, I'm Uncle Joe. What about your crime bill? What, what, about, what about you standing with segregationists? What about this, what about this thing that you, you're talking about? Uh, you know, uh, working women are not going to be good for America and so on and so forth. And he's like, well... You know, here's the thing, and it, it's just like it's not working because too much mental gymnastics at, at over the course of thirty years and over the course of what you've done has like slowed your brain down. Bernie's that hadn't had to do that because Bernie's been super hyper focused on his message and being consistent with it and progressing forward with that message. You've had to kind of do loops and jumps, you know, like you've had to do somersaults. That's like you know that video. Have you guys seen that video of Bernie Sanders, where where he's just like fucking ripping through the the DC subway, right? Like ripping through the metro, and he's just like real fucking business. That, that dude's a straight shooter. He's walking. He's walking straight. Not Joe Biden, man. Joe Biden's trying to do somersaults, you know, and he's trying to do like flips and shit. Just so, just so people are going to be, you know, they're, they're like, what, what's happening right now? Why, why, just walk. Can't you just walk? And he's like, nope, I got to do this backflip, right? You know, can, are you guys, you guys love me because I'm doing a backflip? And they're like, no, just fucking walk, dude. And then you burn out your energy and now you can't, like, now you're kind of slumped over the escalator. And once you get over the escalator, you just fall down and you didn't even make it out of the goddamn metro. That's where Joe Biden is. He's good. like, Joe, you gotta go, man. This is not gonna end well for you. Hey, everyone. Uh, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and share it. Uh, these are little clips from a little segment I do called Road Reflections, where uh, I go live on my Facebook page uh, and talk about current events, creativity, uh, touring what's going on uh, in, in my life so if you enjoyed this kind of content you can go and like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Krish Mohan ha ha uh, I'm also performing live stand-up comedy all around the country if you enjoyed these uh, little snippets of socio-political commentary uh, it's very similar to what my stand-up comedy is you can go to ramennoodlescomedy.com for all of the show dates and tickets. It's R-A-M-A-N noodlescomedy.com. Uh, and if you want to continue supporting DIY, independent, socially conscious comedy content, you can become a patron today. I don't have uh, any corporate sponsors or any small business sponsors just yet, so at the moment I am people-sponsored sponsored by you guys so you can go to patreon.com slash krishmohan haha and become a patron today starting at only two dollars a month you can check out all the tiers and rewards thanks so much guys and we'll see you soon